is Teresa. Welcome to my channel. So this is going to be my third video in my series, Makeup and Myths, where I put on my makeup and I talk about a local urban legend to myself. I have two other videos that I did in the series. I'll link them down below in case you missed them. And if you're interested, you can check them out. And let's just get into the video. So I already put on the Cover Effects Blurring Primer. I decided to refilm the intro because I was like stumbling all over my words. So I already have that on and we'll get some foundation on. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Summit Street Mansion. which is also known as Mount Providence. It's located in Lockport, New York, and it was built in 1834 by Francis Hitchens. And he owned the glass factory in Lockport at the time. And the house is huge. It's like 5,400 square feet. And it was built all out of limestone. I know there was like a barn, a greenhouse, um, different parts like a carriage house, but none of that survived, only the house did. But it's a pretty incredible home. So there's a lot of stories with this house. I mean, a lot of urban legends related to the house. And some of them have been proven false. And a lot of times when a house is abandoned for over 60 years, a lot of stories develop. Like, why was it abandoned for 60 years? Like, it's kind of creepy. So one of the biggest, like, stories around the house is that Francis Higgins, which doesn't make sense. I'll explain after I tell you the story. Well, at the time, it is said that Francis had slaves in his house. And I guess he treated the slaves poorly and the slaves rebelled. So they murdered the family and the pets. And then eventually they either murdered each other or killed themselves or turned themselves into authorities. So it is said that the house is haunted because of the terrible massacre that occurred in the house. But... The time frame doesn't match up, um, and Francis was, he was anti-slavery. He, he, like, was not into that, so it, the story doesn't make sense that that occurred. I, I believe that's all urban legend, but they did say the house was an underground railroad. And that I believe to be true. And I'm pretty sure there's some documentation proving that to be true as well. I know like ghost hunters and people explored the house and they found a big concrete slab like covering a hole in the basement. And they lifted up the concrete slab and they just found it was filled with sand. Like... The house is in Lockport and it's very close to the Erie Canal. So, and we are also close to Canada. So I do know that it's true that there's a lot of stops throughout Buffalo to get people up until Canada to freedom. There's also reports of trap doors in the house like a lot of hidden compartments in the cabinets and the floors, like there's different tunnels to get down to the basement, which would make sense if there was an underground railroad there, you know? So the house is a big piece of history. So I bought this Believe Beauty Powder, setting powder at Dollar General for $5. I'm enjoying it. I think it's okay for $5. You don't get that much product though, but... If you don't have a lot of money and you need to buy something in a pinch, it'll do. <laughs> so, the house has, you know, had a lot of rumors and a lot of owners. 
And one of the rumors is that the house was an insane asylum. A lot of people said, you know, a lot of terrible th things happened in that house, lobotomies and different things, but that was never true. The house was considered to be a hospital though, but it never worked out. It wasn't a hospital. Okay, now I'm gonna put some bronzer on. I'm trying to use a lot of BoxyCharm stuff and I got this Midnight Masquerade uh, from Pure a while ago. And there's like bronzer and blush and highlight. This is like a shimmery bronzer. I'm gonna try it out, we'll see. We'll see how things go. So yeah, another story about the house that claimed, you know, how it could have been haunted. is that it was a trap house. So back in like the early 1900s, there was a lot of canal workers and they probably traveled to work there to make money. They didn't have a lot of canal workers for the Erie Canal. Um, they had to build this canal to get like shipment through. It's pretty famous. You could do tours of the Erie Canal, the Erie Canal locks. Um, you could take boat tours. I never did it. I know my daughter did it with my mom and my uncle. It's kind of incredible. Like, there's like the Lockport Caves. You could go like underground and see the caves and stuff. It's something cool. I need to get off my bucket list for sure. But the workers, apparently there was a barn on the property. And the workers would sneak into this barn and sleep there. And I guess the owner at the time would try to lock the barn or do different things to get, keep the, you know, people from staying in the barn. Well, I guess one unfortunate night, I believe it was October 15th, 1910, there was a terrible fire in the barn. The barn had a lot of hay, so it was very dry and it, it lit up really quick and it got really intense. And unfortunately, all the people in there died. And I, apparently they couldn't even identify any of the, the canal workers. Like it was so intense. Just like my blush, <laughs> it was so intense. <laughs> I went a little ham. That's another thing, and that truly happened. It has been documented in newspapers and stuff. Unlike the story of, you know, the, the, the murders and all that, that was never claimed to be true. I know the house was later on bought by this man. I forgot what his name was, but he only wanted to buy the land for the, the property. He didn't want, he wasn't interested in the house at all. So what happened was the house ended up sitting vacant for years and years. And the house started deteriorating, falling apart. And I did read in the nineties, it did become like a boarding house type deal, like apartment building. Not so sure about that though. I'm gonna put some highlighter on. I'm just using everything out of this. So my face is gonna be pretty glowy today. I used the matte foundation, so we'll liven it up a little. And then we'll do some spray. This is the iconic London that I got in the BoxyCharm recently. I'm using quite a bit of items from the BoxyCharm. It smells nice. Some people think it's too intense. It does have like a perfume scent, but I don't mind it. I don't think it's that bad. Unless you're sensitive to scents, you wouldn't like it. Now I'm gonna do my brows with this mellow tinted brow gel. Ooh, those brows look intense today. So the house ended up sitting 
like after the 90s, the house sat vac vacant for a long time. And I know it was up for sale for around like $80,000, which is a steal for, but the house needed a lot of work. They said the house would take at least $500,000 to get it where it needs to be. I know someone bought the house, I believe in 2003, and they were gonna redo it and turn it into like a museum. And they hired construction workers to fix up the house for them. And apparently the construction workers got so scared they had to leave. They left the, the scaffolds in front of the house for years. They were sitting there for years because I know when I went there to look at the house, they were still there. I'm not sure what the truth behind that is. Maybe the person who bought the property ran out of money, you know, because that, that's a big investment to fix up an old house. It, I mean, the house dates before the Civil War. So, fortunately for this old house, because I love, I have a passion for old houses. I love Victorian style homes. I love, I don't know, it's just, they're gorgeous. I love the style, the architecture, everything about old homes. So, that's why this home is so interesting to me. But fortunately, someone bought the home, I believe in 2013, and they ended up fixing up the home and they completed the remodel in 2015. And the house is gorgeous. I found their Facebook page and I actually found a lot of pictures of the home. It's absolutely stunning. I'm gonna do a little slideshow for you guys at the end if you're interested seeing what the house looks like now. So I just used the Sassy Sienna's by Dosa Colors that I got in a boxy charm. Now I wanna use this. This is from Wet n Wild, the Liquid Cat Suit um, Shimmer Liquid Eyeshadow in Bone Appeal. This is like a part of their Halloween line they're doing. So I'm just gonna tap some on because the Sassy Sienna palette is a pure matte palette. I wanna add some glitter. I suppose you could just add, like what I'm doing, I'm just adding a little bit and I'm gonna blend it out with my finger, sheer it out a little. But if you wanted like real intense, you could just like lay it on, build it up. See, it's pretty intense if you just leave it alone. I want that soft glitter all over my lid. Then I'm going to use this um, gel eyeliner from Pretty Vulgar. This was also in my BoxyCharm as well. Throughout the years though, people have said they've seen faces at the windows like looking out when they know the house is abandoned. I actually found a picture from the 40s I'll put up that they claim they see a face. I don't know if you guys will be able to make it out or not. Um, it's a little hard to see, but I don't know. I think the house is kind of interesting. I think it has a lot of story, whether that be, whether it be fact or myth, you know, it's an interesting old house. And the owners that bought it, you know, in fixed it up and made it a house again, which is kind of incredible. I did see that they do wedding venues in the barn. I'm not sure if they're still doing it or if it's an ideal work in process, progress, but I think it's, it's kind of amazing to fix up an old house. I don't know guys, what do you guys think about this story? Do you have anything similar in your area? like an old abandoned house with lots of mysteries and stories around it. Do you live in an old town with a lot of Victorian style homes? Guys, I hope you like this story. And if you're not already, I would love if you would like and subscribe because I have another video coming next week. 
So far, I did a road, a cemetery, now I did a house, and next will be a hotel. So I hope you stay tuned, and hopefully my friend Katie will do a video with me for like a Halloween special. I gotta get on her about that. But I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday, and I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you.